Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment two, week two solution that is introduction to soft computing and uh, all the questions will be cross validated so that uh, you can match that uh, I am delivering with 100% accuracy. First question: Jack is intelligent. Q Jill is intelligent. T P equal to 0.6. T Q equal to 0.8. The question is: Fuzzy proposition of either Jack and Jill will be. Jack and Jill is efficient. Will be 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.4. So in this question, it is a part of union. That is either Jack or Jill. So uh, union will be there. So out of that 0 0.6 and 0 0.8, we have to uh, take the maximum of them. So correct op option is 0 0.8. And this is the validation. Uh, M is Mary is efficient. Ram is efficient. Uh, either Mary or Ram is efficient. So this is the same question, but only uh, name is changed. So maximum. So 0 0.8 and 0 0.6. So maximum value is 0 0.8. So answer is 0 0.8. If the question will be like this, either Mary and Ram. So that it will be part of intersection. So in this case, we have to took. 0.6 as a answer, but this is a case of union, so maximum we have to take. Question 2 The degree of truth value of fuzzy proposition in it is always interval 0 to 1, both inclusive. So, this is a straightforward question, and for cross validation, this is the statement the degree of truth of each proposition is expressed by a value in the interval 0 1, both inclusive. Question 3. Given a statement, if mango is yellow, then mango is sweet. It is a fuzzy proposition, fuzzy inference, crisps rule, fuzzy implication. So, it is a direct question of fuzzy implication. Uh, option D is correct. And this is the cross validation statement. Fuzzy implication. If pressure is high, then temperature is low. If mango is yellow, then mango is sweet. The so, same question. So it is a part of fuzzy implication. Question four: Which of the following operator is not used to interpret A coupled with B? So, dragetic product, bounded product, and minimum product. All these are the interpret A coupled with B, but maximum operator is not used. Therefore, option D is correct. Option D is correct. And for cross validation, so A coupled with B having minimum algebraic product, bounded product, and dragetic product. So from both the statement, you can see that a maximum operator is not used. Question 5 Let X is equal to ABC, capital Y, 1, 2, 3. A having element with membership value in the same way, B is a fuzzy set having element with membership value 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 1. So after calculation, the correct option will be C. That is, this will be the correct option. So it is part of calculation. So you can directly tick the option C. Question 6. Consider a fuzzy set old as defined as below old 20, 0 0.1, 30, 0.2 and so on. Then the lambda cut for alpha 0.5 for the set old will be uh, this is the question in which uh, lambda cut or strong lambda cut so this type of question can be asked but is a simply part of lambda cut so in lambda cut having the value 0.5 so from the question we can see that 0.1 less than 0.5 we can uh, neglect it 0.2 less than 0.5 we can neglect it 0.4 less than 0.5 we can neglect it uh, 50 having the membership value 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.5 we can uh, select it 0 0.8 greater than 0 0.5 you can select it 1 greater than 0 0.5 we can select it and 80 having membership value 1 we can select it so correct option will be 50 60 70 80 so from the option option C is correct 50 60 70 80 number seven what is the following sequence of steps taken in designing fuzzy logic system it is a very simple question we have to take the crisps input and after that we have to uh, convert into the fuzzification 
then rule evaluation and then defugification so fugification rule evaluation and defugification so correct correct option is a and for cross validation we can see that uh, we have the crips input and after that with the fuji fire we are going to convert our crips input into uh, fuji input and after that uh, rule base implementation will be executed and after that uh, we want our output and a crips output so with the help of this fugification we are going to convert our crips uh, output into uh, fuji output into crips output so fugification rule base and d fugification is the correct sequence question 8 which of the following is not a d fugification method so there are various method with the help of uh, we can convert our fuzzy output into crisp output so weighted average method is a part of defugification defugication maximum method is also part of defugication centroid method is also part of defugication method but minima method is not the part of the fuzzyfication method so correct option is d because in the question it is asked which is not the defugication method so minima method is not the defugification method so, so this is the cross validation that maxima method centroid method weighted average method all these are the defugification method but uh, minima method is not uh, used for defugification method Question 9, which of the following is the correct mathematical expression uh, center of gravity? Center of gravity. So option A is correct. Option A is correct. You have to cram this formula. So directly you can opt that option A is correct. And for cross validation, I took the snapshot from the video mathematically. Center of gravity can be expressed as the uh, full ex expression. Question 10, if x is a then y is b else y is c then the relation r is equivalent to it is also a direct question and it is a relation so option b is the correct one a cross b union a complement cross c and for its uh, validation if x is a then y is b else y is c the relation r is given by this so uh, I can assure you that answer is 100% accurate. Question 11. Which of the following defugification method is not a centroid method? So, centroid method. Center of gravity is a centroid method. Center of sum is also a centroid method. Center of area is also a centroid method. But center of mass is not a defugification centroid method which is used in defugification. The correct answer is B because which of the following defugification method is not so center of mass is not the defugification method question 11 so this is the centroid method center of gravity center of sum center of area so center of mass is not there so that's why question 11 suppose a fuzzy set x is defined as this which of the following maxima defugification method is not applicable to calculate the creeps value of x so last of maxima mean of maxima first of maxima and height method so height method is the correct one because in height method there is a specific condition that the membership value must be unique but in this question 0.8 is the membership value for element 15 and 0.8 is the membership value for the element 25 so 15 and 25 elements having the same membership value and for its cross validation we can see that this method is applicable when height is unique height is unique but in this case height is not unique that's why uh, height method can't be used height method can't be used next this is the expression actually this is the question of discrete mathematics and i am not so good in discrete mathematics but with the help of uh, professor dr anita malik ma'am uh, i solved this question and the correct answer is a correct answer is a and for this validation 
there are some table we have to take care p union q p intersection q and p implication q so these are the table uh, which we have to cram and which we have to remember and after that we uh, there are three input pqr and uh, in the same as we use in digital electronics two table uh, all these expression which are required in the question are calculated and after that we got this finally uh, this output and when we notice this this is exactly same like p intersection q p intersection q so our correct uh, answer will be the option a that is p intersection q Question 14. If the output for this set C, then the Crips value according to the center of sum is defined. It is a directly a formula and uh, option C is the correct one. Option C is the correct one. And for cross validation, I took the snapshot. So this is the correct one option. Question 15. Which of the following defugigation method is also as known as Sujino defugigation method? So out of them, uh, weighted average method is the method which also known as the Sujino defugigation method. So this is the cross validation. And thank you so much. And uh, I did the assignment with very integrity and uh, saw the video multiple times so that uh, every question can be uh, calculated with precision and with accuracy so I am assuring you that the from my side accuracy will be hundred percent and it may be possible it may be possible that uh, maybe one or two questions may be wrong but uh, I, I did the task with very honesty and uh, definitely uh, you will get 100% score in your assignment second so thank you next video will be uploaded um, one week prior to the next uh, solution uh, next assignment so that if there is any discrepancy uh, we can modify that and uh, thank you so much